Hey, it is Sunday and we didn't go to church today. I just felt a little tired and we did nap. I don't know if we we're having like a bug going around or something, but I decided a lot of people are sick. I'm not feeling great and baby girl, we're just gonna stay home and be safe on the safe side and just have a mommy daughter day. So I noticed that my battery is not doing well, but I thought I would chat before my battery dies. Um, I'm doing like a little baby carrier review on my TikTok and Instagram. So if you wanted to check that out, whoa, should be up there by now. Good morning. Um, yeah, I am going to vlog a little bit today. It is a Thursday, which means I don't have any clients, but I have so many emails and notes to do. Not so many notes. I really try hard to get done with all of the notes that I need to in the time, like the day that I have those clients, but I am up early trying to conquer this while Rayma is sleeping and I am not looking forward to it. I also need to make a doctor's appointment because my blood pressure has not gone down since giving birth. So that's scary. And I've been on medication and I have to continually check in with them when I'm out of the medication. Um, so I want to get on ahead of that because I didn't, I wasn't ahead on it. I just didn't even think about it when I first ran out of medication. If you guys didn't know, I had preeclampsia with Rima, so that means that I had high blood pressure before and after giving birth, and I still do. It's coming down, like I can tell it's coming down. I feel a lot better. And then I want to send over taxes, but that feels like a big project that I might do tomorrow. But yeah, there's just like a lot of little admin things that I really want to just get off my plate and just get done with, but such as life with a baby. This is my little work setup. I watch YouTube while I work. So that's what we're doing today. We just finished all of our notes. Sorry, let me like wait for this. Just hanging out with mommy. My practice, we are on ZocDoc. So we've been trying to sync like the Google Calendar and Simple Practice and ZocDoc together. I love that stuff because it's so good because it's like it's like makes life easier. That's why I love technology, honestly, because it just makes life so much easier for the most part. Want to do some cleaning today. We gotta do something fun. I always think on these days it's like it's good to get all the admin stuff done and then do some cleaning so that I feel like put together. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe creating some courses. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on this, but I really want to be able to, here's the thing, I can't really take on any more social media clients. I've like maxed out on that as I'm t being a therapist and doing what I love. Um, I can't really be a creator as much, mostly because one, it's a lot of work. Two, I'm really enjoying doing my own content, um, but I would love to still be in that space. So I was thinking about creating some courses on social media and like how to create more and like how to become like a social media agency. It's kind of hard because here's the thing, like I feel like I was only, I only had an, a full agency for maybe two years um, before I, I had her. And so now I'm like taking a step back. So I don't feel like I reached the full potential of like everything, but I do know how to do it. So that's why I, would, I think it would be really cool to, to create some courses for Abundantly More Media, just so that people, like if they ask me or they say, hey, can you manage my social media? I can like point them to something and say, hey, no, but I do have a course on how to start and you can do it yourself. Um, because I think that a lot of it, and as technology grows and gets better, like I think it'll be easier be, to become your own creator, content creator, and it's not gonna feel as overwhelming. It already has changed so much since I became like a social media um, manager and stuff like that. So it's so much easier now um, than when I first started. I mean, when I first started, Canva wasn't even a thing. With Unbundantly More Media, I do my own stuff, obviously, with my blog and creating content that way and making money 
through affiliates, which has been really fun. And so thank you for all of that because I'm sure you guys have been a big indicator of helping um, me grow that side of my income stream. So yeah, so we can stay home and just hang out. Baby girl is down for a nap and Honestly, I was going to take a bath and like start my day and whatever, but then I ran to my old apartment's um, office and to pick up a package that I accidentally had delivered at our old place. I realized, what's the point? Why, 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 why should I get dressed today and take a bath? I might do that tonight, you know, when I'm getting cozy and ready for bed. But like, what's the point? Join me on my, my dining room table, actually. That's what this is. I ordered something from Pura. Here's the thing. I am big on scents. Like, I like things to smell good. I'm sure you're like this, too. I'm obsessed with how anthropology smells so good as soon as you open the door. Like, it just gives you this, like, amazing vibe like you're like oh my gosh even if everything's so expensive you're still in a good mood like you can i've done this so many times you can walk into anthropology not buy anything and still be happy about it because of how good the place smells so there's been a couple of things that i've done to make my house smell better i live in a parsonage there's constantly people coming in and out. And honestly, I love that. Anytime John's like, hey, so and so is coming over. Can I have a meeting in the house and and not at church? I'm like, yes, please use this space. It's been such a gift to us and I want it to be a gift to other people as much as I possibly can. That being said, I do have a newborn. So that's like, I like the place smelling fresh, even if it's not fresh. <laughs> Part of that is just putting in, sometimes just having candles going or something like that, but I like it so that I don't have to think about it. So Pura, I've just heard raging reviews about it. And I wanted to try it and there was like a deal going on. It might still be going on where you got two cents and if you bought two cents, the Pura diffuser came free. I was like, what? So I have to like look at, let me see. What happened? It came out to like $35, which is unheard of because the diffuser is definitely a lot more than that. And that's what would always stop me is because the diffuser was so much money. I was like, heck no. It takes the thinking out of it and shipping's always free, which I'm like, that's cool. Uh, because I have been putting around my house. I, I always forget what kind. It's like, yeah, it's like the Glad diffusers, like these things. And I'm not mad about it. Like it's, there's definitely some really good scents. And I have one in my daughter's bedroom just so that, like it's really far away from her crib and everything. So she's not like close by. Cause I, you never know about these uh, chemicals. But here's the thing. This is literally Anthropology's scent that they that they did with Pura. Guys, I'm literally not well. Like that is so exciting. And I got the Capri Blue, which is amazing. And it says, it literally says where fashion meets fragrance. And I am like all about that. Recharge perfume smart scent it's smart scent so i'm gonna try it out this is the diffuser and i'm gonna let you guys know because i also want to try and see if they have like a discount code or we can like i don't know it works with alexa and i'm like what that's so fun and again i didn't break the bank so now i can tell you guys if you should if it's worth the money um I've definitely, this whole year, I've been experimenting with fragrance and like what I want my house to smell like. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna let you guys know, but the babe is up and I had one, I think I have one more thing that I wanted to show you today and I forget what it is because mom brain is real. Did you know that having a 
daughter takes up more brain cells than having a son. So your brain doesn't recover as quickly when you're pregnant with a daughter. I just read this and it was on Instagram, so I need to like actually research it, but I get it. I feel that actually. I need to call and figure out how to get my social media back from my old podcast because my old podcast, I rebranded obviously now my podcast is You Are Covered and I've been trying to get it released from <laughs> the um, bigger network that I worked for because it was previously That's Real Radio, but I still, I own, I should own all the social media network so that's been a headache honestly leaving my old job felt like breaking up with an old boyfriend like or a bad boyfriend like it see, feels like a bad breakup so i'm still dealing with that kind of stuff it makes me not excited to create my podcast when i don't have control over my social media still like i can't change the password and i can't change the email so i'm locked out of my social media platforms for you are covered, which is so crazy because I did it for a full year and no, and I had no problems. And then all of a sudden, like I got locked out of everything. So that's what I've been dealing with on that side of things. And it makes me not motivated to do my podcast. So what I'm going to do is just keep pressing and a friend of mine's helping me. So hopefully we can get that figured out today. So that's one thing. And then we're also going to cook so we're gonna do some stir fry, so come along with me. Okay, so we have to set up the Pura account. And I remember what I was going to, what else I was gonna show you, but we're just, I'm just doing like, I'm gonna show you like all the admin stuff that I've worked on. Sorry, I don't I need like a house stuff, like house stuff, family stuff. Like what is the word for what I've been doing? Um, basically, I wanna show you what I've been doing with documenting and archiving family memories and i just want to chat with you uh -huh, chat with you about some of those things too but first let's download the pura app so when i thought about this i forgot that it was it went well with alexa so that's exciting because i am definitely a avid alexa user we're gonna try the capri blue first I think we're gonna put it in pure diffuser so it's like this guy that's the app okay I'm so excited guys this is so exciting okay hmm just everything looks so good about this. It, the marketing and everything, it's definitely extra. Like everything is extra about this. But you know what? If you can be extra, if you can afford it, if it's in your budget, why not, you know? Okay, sign in to your account. Okay, so I'm in and this is what the app looks like. Okay, and then I'm going, it says control all your Pura diffusers. Um, I have two fragrances. Uh, you can make a night light. It could be a night light. Adjust the scent intensity, schedule timers. That's so cool, like on your calendar. Like that is so dope. So like when you know you're gonna have guests over, you can make sure that you have like a good smelling kitchen. I think I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. I was thinking about putting it in the office just because then it would be for me, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of why I why I like fragrances. Like I want people to feel, you know, welcomed in my home. I think fragrance is so welcoming. Okay. And then you can definitely subscribe per month. Um, so now I got to set up a, dis a diffuser. So it says this. Okay. So pure four is what I got. 
like the latest one. So you're gonna plug it in. So let's go to the other room where I'm gonna do this. Okay, so you're going to put each fragrance in the right. I don't know how to do this. If you do take it off. Oh yeah, that's what you wanna do. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So you put that in there and then I've got the anthropology one. It's like honey crisp. It smells so good. So then you're going to, what am I doing? Put it on, right? So that's how you do that. Karen, Karen, stop it. Stop my crazy cat. Okay, so now it says put it up this way. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, and then we're gonna plug it in. Oh crap, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I think we're gonna put it in the living room. Like, that's totally cool for now. I don't know, maybe we'll put it somewhere else, but so this is the other directions. So now that I did that, I'm going to set up the diffuser. I'm gonna put the this guy on, continue, and it's gonna search for the diffuser, continue. And it's gonna do that. <laughs> I am lugging out on passwords. Then you're gonna name the room. It's gonna update. This is so cool. Wow, that's so wild. So now you can plan like when you want the fragrance to start and stuff. Cause right now it's just gonna be like that. I'm really hoping my husband doesn't like bonk into it with this couch, but. And look at this, this is so cool. How much you can like. Um, and then it gives you like a start and stop time. I think we're gonna stop. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh. It's a little colder out there than I thought of this. Did you go on a little walk with daddy? <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time, didn't we, right here? That's good. <laughs> You're so serious. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because, is it time for her to nap? I don't really know. Hmm. You're so cute, I love you. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you so much. <laughs> Aw, you're such a good baby. Okay, it is the next morning and I am sitting in my living room. I came downstairs. My husband made me coffee. He's also going to our local like bagel store this morning um, because we're actually going to go see my parents. He's going to go golfing with my dad and me and Raymond are just going to hang out with Nana. Um, and the thing is, this... Pura is making my whole house smell like an anthropology store. Like it is fantastic. I'm obsessed. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just feel like when people come in to my home, they're gonna be like, what joke are you playing on, on us? Where are the clothes? You know, because it feels like we're literally in anthropology. Um, that's crazy and I love it. My husband hasn't picked up on it and I don't think he will <laughs> just because I don't think he cares about those things. And, um, so yeah, I don't have to like tell him that I'm not just burning a candle, but I don't know. He, he'd probably get on board, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I'm a big fan. The thing that I love is that you can set like the color of the little night light on it. And I don't know why I just love that. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of my, um, my system for archiving 
photos and family memories. So I'm trying to get into like a good rhythm, a good system, but I wanted to show you what I've been doing so far and what I'm loving. Uh, and yeah, so I got these cabinets from Ikea. I'm loving Ikea right now, but this is like the game and the photo album cabinet. Yeah, so if you're wondering how much stuff fits in here, this is what it is. So his game and stuff is in here. I've got some of the board games in puzzles right here. These are so, this is what I did previously. I did any kind of like big vacation when John and I got married. I put together like um, a book and it would just be for every big summer trip. Um, so this is 2019, this is 2020. And then I had, uh, this is all 2019, 2020, 2020. This is 2021. So I got like smaller photo books whoops why does it say oh sorry 2013 yeah that's crazy that's like way back in the day and then honestly I took a break from chat books I don't know I was just trying to figure out like do I want full-on like books or do I want individual photos and the thing is is like I want both so then I had this thing it was called I don't know what these are called flip books or something and they gave you a ton of pictures for super cheap the quality is not that great it's not like amazing i wouldn't so anyways i have all of these photos in these little groove books but then groove books went out of business i don't think that anything else came of it but that's how i did my photos for 2021 20 and 2022 so i have all my photos for for those years in those little groove books and maybe someday I'll put them in a book, like a book book. Um, obviously we have our baby uh, pregnancy prayer journal and like kind of like documenting the first year of her life. We can write it down, all the things. Um, I have our wedding album. Our wedding album's right here. This is John's baby photos that I have. This is my baby photos that I have, or they're not baby photos, they're just like childhood photos, and that's kind of what I have for John too. And then these photos, and this is how I'm going to print out all of our family photos and put them in uh, individual books, and I think I wanna get like a bunch of these. So I decided to print out individual photos. These are all from 2023. Uh, and I think maybe there might be some from 2022 in this book. Uh, yeah, I think this is Christmas 2022. And like Halloween. But so what I did is I, I upload all my photos, family photos to Google, my Google Drive. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> um, he gave me a latte. So I, I, I was like, oh, I'm worried. I, I've been worried. I've been worried about, you know, phone, phone photos and like, am I gonna have good quality photos? Because it, it's on your phone. So you think that all the photos, it makes sense. So I went back to chat books. And they did some rebranding since the last time I used them, which was in 2021. And I'm getting these little baby books for Rayma's first year of life, along with printing out the individual photos. And these are from Google Photos. So when I print out Google Photos, sorry, I'm all over the place. The quality is amazing i would highly recommend using it and then ordering prints from your google photos and the reason why i think they have fuji film and so all these phone photos that i'm sending over to them they're coming back with like it's high gloss and i don't even feel like i probably should tell you how much each photo cost and i'll probably put that in the description but they are really high quality and i'm super impressed i'm gonna keep doing that i'm gonna keep printing out individual photos um just because it's good to have and i grew up with that so i'm glad that my mom spent the time to do that i'm also gonna do little photo books for each kid 
the first year of their life. And I think that's all I'm gonna do basically for the photo books unless we have like a big trip that I want like a specific photo book, but I really am not into the photo books. I'm gonna do individual photos and um, this is so cute. So they all will come in this color. I've got December, November and December 2023 20, already. And they're so cute. And they're just small, like a little kid could hold it. And they can just see their the photos of their first year. So this is for Rima. And this is the cover for December. This is like her one month photo that I took. And that is how I'm doing it. I'm gonna print out individual photos, put them in the linen book that I got from, from Amazon. And I figured out that every year, 300 photos is like totally doable if you print out 300 photos per year and put them in one of those smaller, they're kind of like long photo album books. So I thought that was a good idea. So yeah, that's what, that's what I'm doing to document and archive our family. And I'll keep you updated on if I change this up, but for now, I just think that's a really good family hack. You know what else is a good family hack? These Ikea covers on these couches. My mother-in-law was so kind as to give us the Ikea couches that she had in her home for a while, and they came with the white covers, and I love the white covers. The thing is, I do have to wash them. They came in great shape, but I do have to wash them. It takes like, I feel like it's like an all day affair, you know, if I'm in between taking care of the baby, doing work. So here's the thing. I got these gray covers from Ikea. They were like $67, super on sale. And I love them. Like I have a new couch. I probably should have straightened up before I do this, but you know, this is real life over here. I don't, it's not like velvety, but it kind of feels like it. But yeah, it's like a totally new couch over here just from Ikea. And then that's the other one that I have. But yeah, I love the fact that I can just have a new couch. So I'm, I'm like that with the duvet covers. That's why I love du duvet covers because you can get a duvet cover for like $20 at Ikea and you have a whole new bedroom vibe. So I'm a big fan. Anyways, those are some of my family hacks right now that I'm loving. The Pura, the family albums, and Ikea in general, everything. <laughs> but specifically these couch covers. I have definitely been so not cute in all these vlogs. I feel like I keep sitting in that same area, but that's really where I sit every day, just in that little corner. We can sit next to Karen. Say hi, Karen. It is Saturday and John has spent a majority of his day trying to fix something going on with the, this was a bun earlier, but something going on with the church building something about a boiler. So I have been, I also went to the women's Bible study and he watched Rama for a little bit during that. He also has like a marriage conferency thing going on. It's like a marriage Q and A event or something at the church. So that's happening. And while he does that, I'm watching Rama. Um, but she's so cute. Look at her little outfit. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. So yeah, that is what we've been doing, church stuff. It is a Saturday and I'm hoping to get this vlog up. So I hope this was fun. Thanks for coming along with me this week. Got a little taste of some of the family projects, I'm gonna call them, that I've been working on. I have a few more things that I wanna do, like I want to create a 
I forget what they're called, but basically you have like a wall in your house where you have the, a calendar, you have all the mail, it all goes in one, like it's like a family hub of scents. And so I've been organizing, maybe I'll show you that. I've been organizing the front or the back door of the parsonage to where it's not as crazy and messy as it use, usually is. <laughs> but I've got the Ikea cabinet for like all of our gloves and stuff. That's, that's another family project that I worked on. This is my plant room. I spilled coffee and I have not scrubbed or been able to get this little coffee stain out. But this is our little meeting area. It's kind of nice because if we have somebody that comes in from church, they can just come into this little area and hang out with us. Those are all Karen's toys. And that's where all of our purses and flip flops and sandals and gloves and hats go. I love these little things. They're super cheap on Amazon, but they make for great ways to hang stuff up. It's actually how I hang up my, uh, this is where I put my vegetables. So I've got potatoes, sweet potatoes, and I think one of them has onions. But yeah, we use this like everywhere. It's so great. So yeah, those are some of my little family, I'm calling them, what am I calling them? I'm calling them family projects. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along with me this week and I'll see you in the next vlog.